Hey guys, my name is Kettle Wolf and welcome back to Night in the Woods. We had a little terrible party, went wrong. But, you know, it's cool, embarrassment aside, and I think construction is like gone now. Well, except for this side. But construction on the stairwell is gone now, so I think that means I can go to church? So I think I might try that before I go see my friends. Hey May. Hey Selmers. Did I see you with a journal the other day? Oh yeah, doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one too. Oh, okay. Do you have anger problems too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. Oh jeez. So Dr. Hank sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and a program do though. And I've become a very good poet. Wanna hear one? Yeah, nah, nah, I wanna I wanna hear Selmar's poems. Yeah. My heart is a thankness. But when I see you, I feel a thankness. <laughs> wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness. All I need is a you-ness. That's very romantic. It's about my horse. I hope your horse is called you -ness. Oh. We're just friends. <laughs> Mr. Chazokov's up on the roof again. Pretty sure he's gonna break his damn neck. Are we done? Damn, one more home, Selmars. You say he's on his roof? Can I can I go up there? If he falls through one of my windows, I would not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Him! Up there in the roof next door. If he falls from that roof through a window, you're going to have to pick which part of him you're going to sue. Whichever piece is biggest. I can hear you, you know! Wait. I want to go up there. Ugh, that means I have to go back the other way so I can climb on top of the power lines. I think I have to go all the way left so then I could jump across the roofs. Oh yeah, didn't he say he's gonna show me his telescopy thing if I meet him up meet him up there later? I'm coming, Mr. Chazokovs. Wee I'm here, dude. May Borowski, you could have knocked on a door down there. Really? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time, I'm gonna call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I am glad you have accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting dust stars. What's dust stars? Dust Stars is the name of my shoegaze band? What is that? A shoegaze band? I'm going with that. Dust Stars is the name of my shoegaze band. Really? No. It is music of looking at shoes? With a lot of reverb. Why are we talking about shoes? I forget. Wanna have a look? Yeah, oh yeah, dude. Excellent. Holy crap, my eyes! <laughs> oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Well, I just destroyed my retina. Jeez! The sun is bright, make you blind. You didn't think to mention this? I just did. Oh, I actually moved this. Where are them stars? I mean, I guess all of these are stars, but... Where are them other stuff, you know? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be finding. Oh! I found a star! Found one! Let me have a look. Ah, uh, yes. Door the Murderer. Okay, I'm interested. Dora passed Bjorn, the king's procession, on the street. 
Dora was quiet and said nothing, and the king took offense to this. Why? Jeez. <laughs> Why? Royalty is strange. So what happened? Bern insulted Dora. Dora's family, Dora's village, and so on. Until he was down to insulting Dora's chickens. Damn. <laughs> chickens are kind of awful. Uh, I mean, some of them are kind of awful, but damn. Dora first murdered Burns' chickens. Then his ancestral village. Then his family. Holy crap. And when he came to Burn, the king was silent. I'm going to get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dora a hero? Totally, I don't know if he's a hero. I don't know. But it doesn't matter, but it doesn't really matter, I think. Like, if you've been told you're nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it is a true story and real people died. And you should feel terrible. Seriously? <laughs> you liar. I had a real story. Okay, not a, like not all of these are stars that have s stories, you know. So I don't know how I find. I gotta find the important stars. No, this one. No, is it actually this one? Oh, it is this one. Found one, I think. Let me have a look. Ah, uh, yes, cast these. What's cast these? Totally, it is. What's cast these? This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven. And for this, the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn straight. Oh, will you never die as well? <laughs> I guess someday. I don't know. Never! <laughs> <laughs> Defy cast these gods, also, will you? The gods in these stories are only stand-ins. For things we cannot control. You might say floods, or the cancer, or such. No to all of them. This is fair. I believe we have seen both stars visible today. Oh really? They come and go so fast. That was pretty great. We can look again in two days time. Will you be back? Yeah, if I remember. I was just about to say that. Remember that, guys, in two days. Yeah, if I remember. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. That's spooky, Mr. Chazakov. <laughs> he laughs like a weirdo. Dora Kestis. Ta-da, it's Selmer as a poet. Okay, bye, dude. I'm just gonna fall down this tallest building. And land on my feet because I'm a cat. Should I visit the tunnel again? I don't know if there's anything new stuff down there. But I wanna go to church first. Let's go to church. Wow, construction's finally done. Stairs is open for business. Wonder what's going on up there. Is the frickin' church? I guess let's go in here first. Hey, mom. Hey, hun. Hey, mom. Wow, it's been a while since I was in here. I know, sweetie. Nice to see you in the building, at least. Did you meet the new pastor? Nope. Oh, she's around here somewhere. Might be outside? She likes to go on walks. Cool, cool. I might bump into her. So how's church working? Good. Answering the phone. Entering data of various sorts. I'm trying to get everything into one unified app. Thing. You know they make programs just for church administration? 
I didn't. I was watching online tutorials for the one we just got. But I just got distracted by true crime videos. Oh, mom's a true crime fan. Mom, I do declare you are slacking off at work. God will forgive me. Alright, sweetie, I better work. Alright, bye, mom. I can't go in this one. <laughs> Why? Why is God keeping me out of his church? Time to go for a walk and purposely bump into the new pastor. Oh yeah. What you write, little May? <laughs> Is that a statue we just passed by? That's a very good drawing. You warm enough at night? Yeah, you know, I get by. Well, I'm working on something to help you out. Ah, uh, don't go to any trouble. I'm all right. That's good. Gonna get cold soon. I can get you some blankets for now. For some reason, we have a lot of blankets. That'd be sh that sure be a blessing. Well, we bless best with what we already have too much of anyway. <laughs> and we got blankets. <laughs> What's up, peeps? Hey. Hey. You're Candy Borowski's daughter, right? Her name is Candy. <laughs> yep, who are you? I'm Kate, but you can call me Pastor K. PK. That's like way more syllables. You're new here, right? 16 months? Something like that. Oh, new to me at least. This over here is Bruce. Hey. Hey. Bruce is new to our community. Do you live in the woods? Yep. But not for long. We're working on fixing that before winter gets here. Gonna take some doing, but God's a doer. And they're bigger than city council. Still think it's a lot of trouble to go to. Listen, nobody said loving your neighbor would be easy. And you are our actual neighbor. I appreciate it. We all need a little help sometimes, Bruce. No shame and hard times. Well, it was nice meeting you both. Come up and see me at the church sometime. I will. I'll be up to visit my mom anyway. See you later, Bruce. Okay, nice to meet you, Mary. Bruce, my name is May. May. May Borowski. Bruce, just Bruce. Pastor. Pastor Kate. I'm glad we got introductions out of the way, guys. What did I draw? Pastor K. Oh, she's your Bruce too. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Where am I even going? Can I jump off here? No, I can't. Okay. Just making sure I can't accidentally kill myself. Is there like a way I can actually go on these power lines? Okay, cool. Although, I'm not sure why I will come up here. Okay, I'm ready to find- Oh, jeez. <laughs> Are they complaining about me jumping on the power lines? That's hilarious. Oh, jeez, I just fell the frick down. Why? No! No, I wanted to go all the way across. God damn, I gotta do this again. Oh, when you walk by, they don't hear you. Just gonna quietly sneak by. Okay, I don't know why I fell down this one. Am I supposed to, like, walk carefully across it? Okay, I guess that works. Okay, should I land here? Or should I keep going? And I'll just land here really quick. There's a person up there. Hey, how do I get up there? Uh... Oh wait, what's this? What is this?
Whoa. What is this place? God, freaky as hell. Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Bloom Blooming Girl snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. He ran over Chris Evans? Oh, that poor dude. Then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. Mm. Is this a ladder I can climb? No, probably not. Wait, there's another door here. What? Oh jeez, that was really weird because I, I didn't walk all the way through so I was like, what the hell just happened? Oh my god! Mallard! What have they done to you? What the- oh jeez. Oh, what the hell is this? Mallard, you're pregnant! It's one of those god things! Like when you have a baby because god? Holy crap, you are the cutest vermin! Who's the best vermin? You are! You look so hungry. Is that why you're, um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food! Don't die! What do I do? Oh. Am I, am I, like, petting them? Okay, that's cool and everything. Although you're a cat mage, shouldn't you be, like, you know, chasing rats instead of- Wait, what was that? Mallard P. Blooming Girl. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the Spring Parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. What'd you draw? Miracle rats. Mallard forever. Hey, where's this exit go? It's locked. What the hell? That is a fire hazard. She's right. Why is the exit locked? It makes no sense. Oh, I didn't know. Wait, what? Oh, weird. I thought that was like some place you can go to. I need to go on these stairs. Okay, I know exactly where to steal them foods. So I'm gonna go there. I gotta steal from the pretzel dude. Hey, what you doing? Many miners, old and young. With home and heart and coal and lung. We're taken by the trolley men. Up to the mine and back again. But mudslide, flood, and awful storm have given tunnel fishes. Ho horm? Horm? Please stop listening. I feel like there was a poem somewhere in there and you just kind of messed up the rhyming. Honey, I'm horm. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, what is this? Oh, well, like the pierogi stand, never understood my visit. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, whatever. Can I steal these? I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Question is how I steal this. Okay, 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 May. You're only gonna get one shot at this. Oh, one shot! You got one shot! Just gonna freeze when he looks over. Even if you're holding a your pretzel. <laughs> no movement. It's simple psychology. You've done this before. You've still got it. Easy? Easy? Easy. She's such- she's totally a deep man. Okay, go. Oh jeez. Are you looking? Oh my god. Her- her hand is just shaking so bad, you know? Oh, are we good? We're almost clear. Oh, jeez. I didn't know there was more. Wait, which way did I go? Oh, man. The change in perspective messed me up so bad. Wait, am I actually supposed to go down? Damn it. Most complicated stealing ever.
I am the bandit queen. Dang it, May just get some money. Can I steal more? <laughs> One pretzel is enough for my tiny red darlings. How do you like them pretzels, yo? Oh, hello, May. Um, do I know you? I don't know if you remember me, Miss Rosa. Hmm. I knew your grandfather. I visited you the day after you were born. You were so small. I guess some things don't change, eh? How did you know, Granddad? I'm here most days. Why don't you stop by sometime? And I'll tell you all about them? Things you might not know? Alright, you've got my interest. Sweet, curious child. Man, there's a lot of store to get here. I got I got a... So I got an appointment with you, Miss Rosa, and then I got an appointment with, um... Uh, Mr. Chazokov. What is this? Get out of my hair, blah 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 blah. Okay, whatever, let's go. Are them teens still here? Wait. Why, why are the cops here? Because this mural is of historical note, Molly. Oh, this is these people again. What do we know? Well, sometime overnight, someone used boat cutters on the gate and came down here. What they use? A paint roller? Looks to be. Says they intend to nuke past something? I think it's likely some kid. Saw one of the old Nuke Possum Springs tags from back when, and got bored halfway through writing it. We need to treat this as a terrorist action. Um, sorry? This mural is of historical note. Alright, well, I'll round up any, uh, terrorists I see. Round up any dirtbag teens or vagrants that's been hanging around town. Chuck up by the abandoned food donkey. They come off the train there. Already on it. Molly. Yeah? Find whoever did this. Okay. I want to see them hang. I think at most they get a fine and some jail time. This was of historical note. Without this, I don't know if there's a reason to keep this place open. Yeah, Kathleen, we all know what you think. What, you think I wanted this? It's not like any of you had ideas for this place. Kathleen, we are not going to put a rest home down here. It's just waste of space. And you're down here anyway at Charlie's side news every day. We are not putting our elderly in a home. Yeah, Colleen. At least if we closed it, I wouldn't have to keep an eye on this place. Thank you, Molly. That's helpful. If you're all done, I got things to do. Bye, Molly. Yeah, fine. This was of historical note. This sure is a picture. Alright, you weirdos. I gotta go feed my rat babies. I'm here, my rat babies. Mommy's coming. Alright, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Oh, damn. That is weird. Okay, okay. Yeah, how about you first? <laughs> what is going on? Where's the other one? Dang it! Come on! Wow, you're hungry. Very hungry. I guess I'm your mom now? I don't know if I'm ready to be a mom. Mother of vermin. Well, I guess they're fed. And it's time to say goodbye. I feel like there's more to the left side of the power line, so I kind of want to check that out. But is there anything else on this side? I'm guessing not. Ah, crap. Lost my jump. Okie dokie, let's check what's on this side. Okay, there's nothing. Well, then, I don't know why I bother coming here. I was hoping I could jump down from here. Is there no way to go further up here? Uh, cause there's a person up there. How do I, how do I get up there? Surely there must be a way, right? Ah, oh, crap! I stood up. 
Maybe I can like do this? Ah, sweet. Nice. I'm coming, whoever you are. Why is there some weird bucket thing here? Oh, dang it. Dang it, why? I do this again. Yes, now I can. Hey, isn't this Mori? What, what's her face? Hey, it's you. It's me. I'm gonna sit like they're killing me. Yeah, it's a hike to get up here, right? I'm just getting old. 20 years. You're like all the way old. How old are you? 15th of February? I used to hang out here after school. Really? Most kids don't come all the way up here. Haha, <laughs> that's why it's so nice. Better than being at home. Where do you live? Chestnut Street? Oh, okay. Out by the tracks. Yeah. Guess I'm not really town. I'm like... Tracks. I live down on Maple. Ooh, the rich neighborhood. What? Um, no. Well... Is it the rich neighborhood? I honestly don't know. What? Oh, sorry. I just meant it's nice. Never mind, it's okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, calm down. I'm sorry, I get all weird sometimes. I'm sorry. <sighs> I forgive you if you stop apologizing. <sighs> okay, you have asthma, kid. The tracks are cool, haven't been up there in a while. The train shakes my room at night. Yeah, in the winter I can hear it. One of my favorite noises. Well, you don't have to wake up with... Bits of ceiling on you. Oh, that's terrible. Good point. Alright. I'm out. It was nice chatting. I'm here most days. Cool. See you later. Well, I guess I need to make another appointment now. Now I gotta I gotta visit Miss Rosa. I gotta visit Mr. Chazikov. And now I gotta visit... Oh, Lori. I think that's her, where her name was. I don't remember. See ya, killer. Ugh. <laughs> killer. Can I jump up here? No, I cannot. Oh, there's a cat up there. Wait, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to jump up there. Maybe if I do like a, like a, like a, you know, like a jump. Ah, there's, there's not enough space here. How do I do this? Oh, jeez, I just fell the frick down. Ah, no. I'm not giving up. I'll be right back. Ah, crap. Is it even possible? This, this is this roof is way too small to do any jumps out here. Oh my god, I don't think this is gonna work. Okay, you know what? I don't I don't think it's possible. I'm gonna try going this way instead. Ooh, but what's the point coming up here? 1901. I just fell to my death. Okay. Now let's go visit my friends. Hey B, I just ran like all day around town doing like so much crap. How's it going, dude? Got a job here. That's cool. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm lying. It sucks. Oh, jeez. I had no idea there were so many kinds of hammers. And wrenches. And nails. My god, the nails. Oh, cool talk. Hey B. Yo. Sorry about last night. I get woozy on cold medicine. So I don't really know what I expected to happen. Sorry for what I said. You know, I don't really remember it much. So whatevs. Hooray for alcohol. New towel model. Band practice later? Haha, <laughs> yep. I'm amazed it's still a thing. We were barely even a band in high school. Eh, it's fun. Get to hang out with Angus. How did you even end up doing it? When Casey left town, Angus told me that Greg was really sad. So I volunteered to be the new drummer. Well, drummer? It's a laptop B. It sure is, May. It sure is. I'll see you later. I got some work to do. All right, later. Later, guys. I 
Let me see if I can visit Angus first before I go see Gregory. Go here, dude, dude. Hey! Whoa, hey! We got like the same shirt! But like opposites. Oh wow, what do you know? What's your shirt from? From? Yeah, is it like a banner or something? Nah, I made it in the home EC back in high school. Why did I say home EC? It's home ec. I just like the symbol. It's a null symbol, right? I don't know. What's your shirt mean? Secret symbol of God's wrestling league. Whoa, what's that? Backyard wrestling. Whoa! Where does it happen? Oh, I thought they were gonna say my backyard. Backyards, you know. How did I not know about this? It's secret. Because it's illegal, I think. And people go to the hospital and stuff. That is awesome. This is awesome. It's awesome. Holy crap, I'm gonna look this up. See you there sometime. Oh, I'm gonna have to find a secret wrestling location, dude? Damn. Hiya, Angus. Angie. Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's it going? You are like the third person I've seen today. I know you explained it, but I have zero clue how this place stays open. You'd be surprised. Band practice later? Gotta warm up my voice. Yeah, Angus is totally the vocalist. You growl real good. Thanks, I'm a born growler. When I was a baby, I never cried. I just growled. I think I cried non-stop until I was like 9. And then I cried all the time again, starting at like 13. You had a good 3 years of not crying in there. They were really productive years. Hehe. <laughs> Oh, is that all we're gonna talk about, Angie? Well, bye. What the? What? No! No, 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 no! Pasta booties is gone! No more pizza delivery! No more big sal! No more special birthdays! This is the worst thing that's happened to this town! Since the flood that took out... The petting zoo... The mini golf ice cream place... The petting zoo! Thank goodness all the animals swam to safety! Swam to safety! On the roof of the tire place! Who knew goats were such good swimmers? I am so freaking depressed now. Well, May, what you gonna do, you know? Just gotta get our pizza at another place. How about them smelters? Kick some blue bear ass last night. Good game. Good game. Gotta be a hell of a season, bud. Okay, okay sport talk. Hey, Jeremy? Jeremy Wharton? No one calls me that. Germ, right? Germ warfare. Oh, that stuck, huh? Yep. That's an okay name. Your name is May. Yep. That's an okay name. Okay. You were like a year behind me, right? Two years. So you're fresh out, huh? I hang out with Greg sometimes. We ride bikes. I'm pretty good at it. Okay. What? I saw the rap rapid possum the other day. Really? Where? It was crawling across the road. Had it been hit by a car? Nah, just rapid. Rapid. What happened to it? Got hit by a car. Wow. It was like a poem. Okay. Okay, you guys, you guys have the weirdest conversations ever. Angus germ? Okay, cool, cool, cool.
Well, alright guys, I'm gonna leave this here because I think once we talk to good old Gregory, it's gonna kick off the band practice. <laughs> I'll leave that for the next video. Those things are like so hard to get like intuitive that, that, that that's not that's not a freaking proper way to use the word. But you know what I mean. That's so much like like branching like little no, not branching stories, but there's like a lot of like little tidbits in this game that you can like get if you actually take the time to interact with all the people in the town like now i believe we have like three reoccurring people we can talk to which is miss rosa who seems to know a lot about our grandfather because she was like there when may was born or something and then the other person was mr chazakov who is you know is our stargazing buddy here so we are probably wait he said two days so two days later we can see him and i think Miss Rosa, we can probably talk to every day. And then there's... What's the... Lori M. I think I think she also says she's there every day. So we can go and talk to them. Get, it's, like, it's nice because you can get like to know more about the people that live in this town. And obviously they know May, so you can also get to know more about May herself. Because she's, you know, been away at college for two years. I'm sure a lot has changed. She's, you know, slowly discovering them, like there's a new pastor and everything. And she basically is meeting new people, even though she knows most of people in this place already, because that means her hometown. But she met Bruce, you know, and then Pastor K, or Kate. But yeah, just slowly, slowly getting back into the flow of the town people, I guess. I don't know. I still wonder if I can get all the way up to the top, because you know, like when we we're jumping hard lines all the way at the top, there was like some cat sleeping there. I don't know if we actually go there or if it's just for decoration. I, I don't know. I tried, okay? I could not jump up there. I don't know if you can or not. But I don't know. We'll just figure it out. All of it in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Please let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video.